In this demo, we'll cover how to dynamically set widget values like the text on a widget, and also learn to use math and string functions. Let's start with a billing and shipping address form. When the same as billing address checkbox is selected, we want to populate the values entered in the billing address fields to the shipping address fields. To do this, we'll add a case to the onclick event of the checkbox and use the set variable and widget values action. Clicking open set value editor opens the set variable and widget values dialog. We'll start by setting the text on widget shipping name field equal to text on widget billing name field. Clicking the plus button adds another row, so we can do the same for the street address fields and city fields. For the state drop list, we need to set the selected option of the shipping state drop list equal to the selected option of the billing state drop list. Once we're finished setting the widget values, click OK, and we'll generate the prototype. You can see that clicking the checkbox populates the shipping address from the billing address. You can also use math and string functions when setting widget values. Here's a tip calculator with fields for the bill total and tip percentage, and a button to calculate the total including tip. Let's add a case to the onclick event of the calculate button. Choose set variable and widget values, and open the set value editor. We're going to set the text on the total widget. Clicking Edit Text opens the Enter Text dialog, where we're going to write the expression to calculate the total and format the dollar value. First, we want to assign the values in the bill total and tip amount fields to local variables so we can use them in our expression. Then we write our expression between double square brackets. If we multiply the bill by the tip percentage times 0 0.01, we'll get the tip. Then add the bill to get the total. Since we always want the result to be two digits past the decimal point, we can use the two fixed function. Put parentheses around the value and enter two for the decimal places. Let's try this in the prototype. For a $100 bill and a 15% tip, the total comes to $115. And a 176 and 34 cent bill with an 18% tip comes to $208.08. And that's the set widget values demo. If you have any questions, email us at supportedaxture.com or tweet us at ActureRP.